Just what, what, what about the game plan worked like to, to perfection? With you? Man, we got multiple game plans. We got multiple adjustments. Like Bud is just one of those guys, like I said in the previous interview, in his interviews, the Ron's interview, I said he got a toolbox. You got to know when to use the, the right tool at the right time. And when you got a guy that got a toolbox like that, that's all you got to coach to. It's easy. You know what I mean? It's easy. Did you expect the fight to get finished Okay. Soon? Okay. Uh, we want to do a couple I, I here, it, and I that's it. it. I thought okay. it might have been a little more competitive early. Guys, two questions, and then I'm pulling it. I thought we late, but it just, you know, I think he felt that power. He felt that punch. He felt the jab. I seen his face. He looked like, oh, shit. This motherfucker can really hit. So then when he landed the first couple big shots, then he dropped them. I think his spirits kind of went down. I think he kind of, after that first drop, He's like, oh shit, I ain't never been drunk. You know what I mean? So, congrats, what's up, Ron? Congrats, very much. Uh, um, you know, seeing much the fact deserved. that there was a jabbing match in the beginning, but yeah. what's kind of part of the plan to take away the jab? Because after the jab, it seemed like he had nothing. We, we figured with Spence, he, everything works off that jab. He sets everything up off that jab, and it's a good, strong jab. And he, and he jabs you, jabs your arms, jabs you, keeps you in place so he can dig them underneath, shot some good body punches that he throws. So we just want to beat him to the punch with the jab, a good timing jab. Not, he got a good pushing little power jab. That's a good jab for people that don't, you know, but Bud just was a good timing jab. You know what I mean? Once we got his timing, then our jab was beating his jab. And then and then we got to sit down on our jab and it was ending with power jabs. So I think that set everything up and made him a little, you know what I mean? Like, not like it is, but I don't know the right word. A little like he didn't. Did. The counter punch, you, when you see after about the third or fourth round, you can see all his punches coming. You know what I mean? He started, he started getting a little desperate. He got knocked down. He came out hot the, the next round. Then he, like, slowed down again after Bud started touching him again. Then you see him. He got hard. So he was trying. He trying to sit down and load up and try to get it back. And it just, when people load up shots, and he usually don't load up shots. But when you load up shots, you got a little jerk. I mean, he got a little tail. So he was able to catch him in between some shots and, you know what I mean, ultimately break him down. But, hey, I love y'all. Thank y'all for... Thank y'all the best for, in the world tonight. Y'all the best in the world. How big of a victory is this for Nebraska? It's a very... It's, it's a very vindicated. It's a huge victory for Nebraska, man. Uh, Nebraska sports period. We don't have a pro team, but it's our pro team. So, I mean, it's a, it's a great night, man. And I don't even like to sit here and, like, talk bad about Earl. Y'all know my y'all know my demeanor. I'm calm. Um, you know what I mean? I got a lot of respect for Derek. I got a lot of love for Earl. I, want, I wish, you know, if he's not in the ring with us, I want him to win. He's one of my favorite fighters to watch. You know what I'm saying? So, I just, well wishes for his team. You know what I mean? Well wishes for him. Get bounced back. Get stronger and come back strong. We want to be inducted in the Hall of Fame at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to do that type of shit. So, well wishes to Errol Smith and his team, man. Red, you've known Crawford since he was about 12 years old. Yeah. So, this moment is a particularly special one for you. It's very be emotional for you. Watching a young man turn into a man and now to an undisputed two time I shed some tears like it was Scotland all over. Again. <laughs> I shed a few tears in there. You know what I mean? And I think that. The amount of like Twitter and fan spaces and YouTube channels that all that came out with emotion. You know, I think they 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 disrespected us. They talked, you know, there's a lot of fanboying going on out there. There's some fans and fan bases type shit. So I think that right there, like it was it's great for us and the team to win that. Legacy, three time, two time undisputed, three time medium. It's great for us. It was also another great feeling to shut everybody up. You know what I mean? Vindicated. Vindicated. He ain't ever fought nobody. Who is this guy? Who is that guy? We would knock those guys out too. We would be doing so. It was just great to do that on this level, man. Hey, I love y'all. Are you going to celebrate? Go to my room. I ordered the fight myself, so I'm going to watch it. When I stop him, they're going to say he's too little, too small to stay there at 147. Coming up to this room, nope. people were saying he was weight training. No bad. You think they're going to make excuses for this? weight training against who? They were saying the same thing. People want to switch the air. They want to push the phone calls back. They want to switch everything up. But I guarantee you, you're going to look at those tweets. You're going to look at those Facebook groups. You're going to look at those YouTubes. Let's see how fast they can delete them. Because they wasn't making no excuses before. In the build-up, it was this, 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 and this. Now, you know, it's excuses, 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 but they can't make none. You know what I mean? And that, 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 that makes me feel good. Did you expect things to be so one-sided tonight, though? I didn't expect it to be one-sided so soon. I felt like he was going to pull away from him a little bit later, like mid to late. I thought he was going to pull away from him a little later. But Bud was just on the shit.
I mean, we talked about it. I mean, we know we're the B side. We know we got 12 rounds. We're not guaranteed a rematch. We're not guaranteed the benefit of the doubt. You know what I'm saying? Because we know we coming in on the on the B side of things. So we knew we, we got to win every round. We couldn't take no knockdowns, no kind of silly shit for any kind of wave offs or any kind of weird shit. So our whole mindset was just serious business. So, you know, we just took care of business. What would be different than 154? I, I, it'll be the same. I feel like it would be the same. I mean, Bud is strong. Y'all see, Bud is a strong, a strong kid, and I think he grew that tonight. So, what do you think the team's interest level in Jamel Charlo is at this point? It's very high. He got, he got business name handled with Canelo. And if you want to come back down, I don't know if he's vacating or what he's doing, but you know, like like Bud said up there, you got to get with us, get with his team, get with his advisory. You know what I mean? And, and see what the options is, and then we'll go from there. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm you know, seeing Andy Ruiz. He said this look like a Mayweather versus a guy that's like a corner. That was good. That was good. Uh, I mean, shout out to Andy Ruiz. I don't want to. That's why I said I don't want to. I don't want to really like dog. I really don't. You know what I'm saying? Like I just hope. I hope he's okay. I hope he bounces back and he's just the way to win more titles. You know, I, got, you know, I got a lot of care and love and respect for him, so I just hope that everything is all right with him. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you, guys. I mean, y'all gonna bring you wild. Yeah. Hey, don't tell him what he gonna do. He gonna do something. Take it easy, man.